y'all. Come on out here, man. We're about to get this thing started. Y'all know how we do it out here, right? Where we going, man? Where we going? Cleaning up the reels. Sometimes the... Look at that. Ew. Gross. Just some of the sand and the oil and the grease that gets in the reels. So I was cleaning them up. So I went to the Walmart and they have this little Daiwa reel for $14. Look, it came in all this casing like it's... I couldn't get it open. I had to get out this knife to get it open because it was so like it was gold or something in there. Anyway, for fourteen dollars, it's the Strike Force twenty five hundred B. Ooh, it has one ball bearing, just one. But uh, you know what? Fourteen dollars. I don't know. Is that a bad price for the Strike Force? I'm kind of liking the little Daiwa um, reel here, so I'm going to put it on this rod, which is a really light rod. Actually, it might be too light for the for the 2500 but I'm gonna give it a whirl I'm gonna put it on there and I think we'll take it out on the kayak and go fish the canal and just see if it see what happens with it it looks for $14 at the Walmart pretty excited about it all right we'll check it out see what happens see what we catch all right so first stop is to the freezer downstairs where we keep the bait they'll let my wife know about this freezer it smells like fish Got some frozen shrimp. They like frozen shrimp. Tastes like ice cream. Going to put that on the kayak. So let's go out to the kayak. Hey, I got my igloo bag. That's going on the kayak. If I catch a pinfish, he's going in there. I got my bait. That's going in my little igloo bag for now. I got my measuring stick in case I catch a, like a 24-inch pinfish. I got to measure it, right? So that's going in there. And uh, I got my net so I can get that pinfish in the kayak. You know, got to scoop them in. And, of course, safety first. Camouflage so the pinfish can't see me coming. I got an extra hooks and uh, weights so I can make myself a little Carolina rig. That's in there. Probably a little proker in there too, I'll tell you what. And here's my new Daiwa reel on the rod with the Carolina rig ready to go. So I'm ready to catch some fish and I'm just about to go in when all of a sudden, boom, this guy shows up. Well, he's going under. There he goes. He's just a baby. How big is that? I don't know. You had to guess. Six feet. All right, with the gator out of the way, we get in the kayak, we paddle on out to Davis Canal, going to hit our little honey hole, see if we can get some fish. I'm um, just going to throw on my frozen shrimp. I got my little hooks here, slide that baby on, going to cast that right out. And um, I'm thinking there's going to be some fish there. Uh, there's always some fish there if the gators haven't eaten them. And uh, so I cast it out. And the next thing I know, something pops up right along the side of the boat. Now, this is hard to see because they already passed by the time I got the video. But this little pot of dolphins came by. You can see it right there. Uh, you can just see its fin came up. But there was like three of them. And it was like three feet of water. So I was actually pretty surprised they were there. So I think they ate all the fish, which is probably why I wasn't having much luck. But uh, I did catch a couple. So here's the first fish on the Daiwa rod. Ooh, look at that reel bend. I'm a... Uh, I'm ready uh, rod bend. I'm ready to I'm ready to pull this in. Oh man, it's a ginormous croaker. Croaker, the good for nothing. You know, I just watched a video the other day where the um, the guy was eating the croaker and he was showing how to cook them and eat them. So maybe I'll maybe I'll start catching some bigger ones and maybe I will try it again. Maybe I'll try them once again. But this guy a little too small. And of course, since I had all that bait, I had that reel and I had that measuring stick, I had to. I had to catch the pinfish, so we got ourselves a pinfish. Okay, so not a lot of fish, uh, but the Daiwa rod was was pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it for the for the few dollars it cost me to replace that reel, put it on that rod, and catch my little pinfish. We're gonna try it again and come back. We'll see what happens. Well, sometimes the bait gets the fish. Sometimes the fish get the bait. And that's fishing. 